For this tutorial we want to look at adding controls and drill down to allow us to get a smaller portion of data and to filter out data that we're not interested in. In general, um, the data that we often get from our uh, from sources is uh, has much too much information and we need to be able to slice it uh, down uh, to the uh, to make it more digestible and uh, so as we we can take a look at a chart here and see that you know we've got uh, this is order data for countries and uh, it's got got a lot of stuff there too much for us to really be able to um, to be able to sort out and so what we want to do is take this chart and add to it a set of controls, a begin date and an end date to allow us to set a date range and select just a range of order information and then also we're going to add in uh, some filters uh, to be able to filter out countries that we're not uh, particularly interested in. So that's what we want to accomplish by the end of our uh, tutorial today. So I've got a, a uh, dashboard with the starting point um, and the first thing that we want to take a look at then is adding in those date selector controls and we want those to be uh, to dynamically be created from the data uh, rather than a, a set of static controls because our our uh, data likely is is uh, changing and so uh, we need to have those controls filled from the data and so that'll take a couple of um, data funnels for each of those controls now um, we've got some data funnels that are set up and I uh, will take a look at those briefly we cover data funnel um, creation in another in other tutorials um, but I'll describe to you uh, a quick overview of, of what what we've got here this uh, data funnel is selecting uh, the single row of order date information out of our uh, out of the large set of data so we single that column of data out and then because we're going to need a label, a, a, a month label, along with uh, the actual date information, we um, put a, we replicate the row and then we put a format on the first column of data so that we only get the month and the year. And then we're going to take and create a uh, a data funnel just specifically for our begin date column which will give us uh, that data again but will take uh, the, the, the beginning date of each month uh, so that um, our date range will always start on the first day of the month and then the end date will uh, is sorted the um, opposite way so that we always get the end date of the month when we select uh, the particular month that we're interested in. So with those data funnels in place we can now feed those into a into our controls and so we'll add uh, some controls now to our to this KPI we're going to put those right in the KPI by adding in a layout uh, and some cells we're going to need uh, four cells one for a label one for the, the drop down and there will be two so that gives us four and we'll make this a 
um, horizontal layout so that they lay out across the top of our chart. This is our drop down for our begin date. We um, make sure to uh, give it the, uh, uh, the name of the variable that we're going to be using later on. Um, the the uh, variable name here uh, will, is used, can be referenced um, throughout our dashboard uh, to reference the uh, data represented by that drop down and then we need to put an action on it to update our KPI when it changes so we'll do that again for our end date and I'm going to move that up so that it's sitting at the top of our image and now these drop downs um, you can see can be fed by a data funnel um, you have uh, two options basically with a drop down you can feed them with uh, static information which uh, in this in that case you would add a drop down item for each item you want to have, have in that drop down or in our case we're going to f uh, fill those with data from a funnel and so we're going to reference an existing data funnel this is our begin date and so we go out and we can find that right there with the data in it and now when we look at the drop down we'll see that information populated in it and once again for the end date and at this point we've got two drop downs that are now functional although they have not been tied into the chart and so uh, they do not do any of the uh, slicing of the data that we want and that's, that will be our next step.